Um, I'll ask uh, uh, Adam, I'll ask you to introduce yourself when you get to, to your beginning of your speeches. Uh, John, do you want to say something about who you are? Yep, I, I live in uh, uh, the Low Wye Valley near Monmouth, and um, I'm involved with the Forest of Dean District Council over issues, and I've recently completed a survey with a friend on the A40, which, as you may know, is the most important economic route, which has been partially blocked by a rockfall for five months. Right, indeed. And, uh, Great joy. Uh, Mike from Hay Resilience. Hi, I'm from Hay and Why. Uh, I run, uh, I, I'm a director of haypubliclibrary.org. Um, we sold a vision to Paris County Council in order to keep our library open and set up a CIC to do that. And the vision was to look for uh, the future of, of the use of libraries uh, uh, in Paris as such. So one of the things we wanted to do was to uh, uh, start community assemblies. And we've set up the Hay Resilience Initiative, which is a three pillar initiative run by community assemblies. The first is to see whether our community can become self-sufficient in food. Uh, the second one is to look after the mental well-being of our local people. Uh, and the third is uh, to set up a community energy company and see if we can become self-sufficient in energy. Great, thank you. And so we'll be very interested to see what uh, Adam has to say about uh, community energy in his presentation today. Uh, Stuart, take a... Hi, I'm Stuart Withington. I'm a, a retired NHS consultant and a town councillor in Great Dunmo near Stansted in Essex. Uh, I am chair of the council's climate action group. Um, currently, um, uh, as well as many other things, I'm trying to get uh, solar PV and batteries on uh, most of our buildings. Oh, tremendous, yeah. I'm trying, trying to do the same with our community library, but that's taking a while for different reasons, which I won't bore everybody with. Uh, Virginia from Tentadin. Hello, yeah, I'm Virginia from Tenton Town Council. Um, I've not been on one of these before, so this is new to me. Oh. And um, I'm the Business and Tourism Officer for the Town Council. So that's quite a varied role, encouraging tourists to visit the town and supporting businesses um, with any needs they have. And under that banner as well comes climate, seems to fall climate action, act active travel, and also about how to get around the town more sustainably to uh, tourist locations. Really? Another busy person. Very much. <laughs> very <laughs> welcome. Uh, Wendy, would you like to say a couple? Of, we're just introducing ourselves briefly while people arrive, and then we'll get to the talk with Adam. Wendy. Hi, yeah. uh, Wendy Thompson. I'm not currently a councillor, but I may be co-opted. I don't know. There's, there's only three empty places, and I believe there's more than three applicants um but no i'm i'm interested i was a councillor for 12 months before the elections and um yeah no i'm i've always been interested in the, in the climate side of it and i'm just trying to ascertain what is in the art of the possible that councils can do because i don't feel like we're doing enough but all of what i've seen and heard from these sessions so far have been very inspiring and it's good to see that there is Stuff happening out there so that's Wendy Thompson I'm in um, Gloucestershire Stonehouse Gloucestershire oh Stonehouse great uh yeah we're very much what the great collaboration is about is gathering good practice and sharing it with councils and with their uh, community groups so that we can actually get weaving on the ground Amanda Davis from the Cotswolds hello <laughs> hello uh is this Andrew that's presenting this one today Andrew? I, I'm, I'm in the chair today yes Chairing great, great on tour yes okay <laughs> Um, so I'm Amanda Davis, councillor in Bolton on the Water, a very touristy part of uh, the Cotswolds. And um, I've got lots of different roles, including director of Mid-Counties Co-op, board member of Cotswold National Landscape, which runs the AOMB, and um, foster mum to guide dogs. And oh, one of mine's <laughs> newly pregnant. Yay! <laughs> so puppies okay. on the way. All right. Um, oh, okay. and I've got news since last time, which is um, I've just got my climate. Come on, help me out. Carbon literacy. No. Carbon literacy qualification. There we go. Fantastic. Well done. Great stuff. Oh, there's another hound appearing. Yeah. Uh, Jackie, we've got two or three more people to go through. Then we'll start the talk. Jackie. Right. 
So for, for Adam, I was uh, before retiring, I was an energy manager at a county council for 20 years, either in charge of the energy team or the climate change team. I worked with the Energy Systems Catapult on developing Net Zero Go. I um, led the, the UK, the local authority user group, testing and validating Net Zero Go. I'm a member of Napton Parish Council's Working Party on Climate Environment. I'm an assessor for UK Climate Emergency on Governance and Finance. Um, I'm uh, the steering group for the Napton Environmental Action Team and Low Carbon Watching Network and a trustee of an environmental charity. Fantastic. We are all very busy people here today. This is amazing. Uh, Bonnie Williams, welcome to your first meeting, I believe. Yes, thank you very much. Um, so I work with Jules Thompson on Community Climate Action, um, and I'm also a trustee of Pace Manning Tree. So Manning Tree being on the border of Suffolk and Essex. Um, and mostly what we're doing there is kind of local community based climate action. And with Community Climate Action, we are doing as it sounds. Um, going and kind of working with different communities, helping them to make a climate action plan in their local area. Good job. Great stuff. Welcome. Uh, Delia from Shropshire. Hello to you all. Uh, it's, it's Delia and Ottilie. <laughs> uh, so I'm part of the economic growth team at Shropshire Council, uh, but with a keen interest in uh, climate change. And I work very closely with our climate change team. Uh, so part of my day job is working with businesses who are trying to green um, and bring support in so that they can uh, bring grants. From a perspective, it's about saving money, but we also hit the climate change agenda as well on carbon savings. And on a personal level, I live in Herefordshire and part of my uh, community environmental group. Uh, we are one of the communities that floods quite badly. Uh, so the environment is, is very prominent in our area. Um, so we are, I'm really interested to speak to Bonnie about community climate action. So that's an interesting one already. Um, but just to learn really what everybody's doing, what can we bring over, what can we do in Shropshire, what can I do with my local community in Herefordshire? Thank you. We'll hear a lot more about energy shortly. Just a couple more people. Uh, Gary from Caution, do you want to say a quick couple of words about yourself? Afternoon, everyone. Hi, yeah, I'm Gary from Caution Town Council. I'm the environmental officer here in Caution. Uh, my main role is to deliver the climate action plan and the biodiversity action plans on behalf of the council. Lovely job. Jules, thank you very much. Uh, Jules, your name's already been taken in vain by Bonnie. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, do you want to say a quick couple of words before we go to our speaker? Uh, I'm guessing Bonnie's already introduced herself. And <laughs> yes, she's a co-founder and facilitator and one of our, our best parts of Community Climate Action. Um, so we write and enact, or help communities to write and enact their Community Climate Action Plan. I'm based in, um, I'm a parish councillor in Hopton cum Nettishall and a founder of a community benefit society called iFarm. We've got 10 acres of land for protection and conservation, limited market gardening, community supported agriculture, and a community pub, which is a great place to have a chat over a pint about the climate. Retrofit the yes. pub. I'm back for a pint at your pub at some suitable but early date. Thank Everyone's you. invited. Let's have a party. Indeed, yeah. Okay. I'm conscious, uh, Adam. I, I think we need we need to get your presentation underway. Um, just before we start, everybody, and uh, we'll we'll speak with John Fagan in a moment to introduce himself at, later on in, in the program. Um, just to show that if anybody wants to raise, uh, there's a button in the bottom of, of um, uh, your screens for raising your hand if you want to speak or ask her an answer a question, and that's straightforward enough. Uh, we have got a chat. Uh, if you've got questions you want to put in the chat as we go through the talk and listening to things, please feel able to do that uh, very much so. So I'm going to please to introduce um, Adam Birchweaver from us. He'll say a bit more about himself. He's from the uh, energy and carbon reduction team at Essex County Council. He'll stop me if I've got that wrong. And he's going to tell us very much. <laughs> I've obviously got it a bit wrong. He's only going to tell us a lot more about what is happening throughout Essex County, uh, in particular reference to energy, particularly reference perhaps to community energy. Adam, the floor is yours. Thank you, Andrew. Much appreciated. Uh, and thank you all for, for coming. I think that these, uh, these banter sessions are, are awesome. I think that it's cool that, uh, that, that you guys have been doing them. Um, but yeah, you almost got my title right. It's energy and low carbon project officer. Um, there are people on my team that have longer titles, but yeah, it, and, and that's within the energy and low carbon team uh, at Essex County Council, which is in the, the environmental department. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of an interesting position to have because it's a relatively new position. Like they, these, 
the energy and low carbon team didn't exist.